morning, Trendlight Academy, and welcome to Student News Network. My name is Bennett, and today is Thursday, August 29th, 2024. Up next is our three-day weather forecast with Zion. Thank you, Bennett. Over the next few days, we have a good chance of seeing some rain. Today, our high temperature is 89 degrees, and our low temperature is 79. There is a 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms. The high tomorrow is 86, and the low is 78. We may see some bad weather and with a 70% chance of thunderstorms. Over the weekend, the weather will still be bad. We have a 60% chance of rain, and the high is 87, and the low is 77. Make sure you have those raincoats and boots ready back over with now with Bennett with the delicious lunch choices. Action. Thank you, Zion. Today we have some yummy lunch choices like hot dog, salad, and a spicy chicken sandwich. The sides are green beans, southern greens, fresh grapes, pineapple, and a cookie. We are in for a funny treat with Kellen. He has a great joke for y'all's enjoyment. I love it when we have cookies, Bennett. Today's joke is sure to make you giggle. What do you call a huge pile of cats? A mountain. <laughs> Get it? A mountain? Now back to Bennett and Zion. Wow, Kellen, that was so cor- corny. Today, we have a f- a f- quite a few birthdays. Please join us wishing Devontae Jones, Olivia Odom, Stone Parker, Rydalion Wells a happy birthday. We also have one staff birthday. Happy birthday to Miss Mizell. Today, people all over the Mississippi Gulf Coast are pausing to remember where they were 19 years ago when Hurricane Katrina made landfall. Callan brought us, sat down, and asked his mom about her experience of surviving Hurricane Katrina. Let's take a look at that interview now. Hi, guys. My name is Kellen Broaddus, and I'm here with Mary Broaddus, my mom. She survived Hurricane Katrina in August of 2005. We were wondering if we could ask you a few questions about your experience. Where were you when Hurricane Katrina hit? We um, went to Georgia. Papa Dennis wanted us to evacuate, which was really scary to me because we never left. I lived here my whole life, and Papa Dennis lived here for probably 50 years, and we had never evacuated before. What did you see when Katrina made landfall? Well, so we were in a hotel room in Georgia, and all I saw was we were just watching the weather when it actually hit. So we were just we just kept watching the weather. Um, we stayed there for a couple of days until it left, but all we could see was everything that was on the TV, which was really scary because we didn't know like if our house was destroyed or what was going on. What was going through your mind when Hurricane Katrina hit? Um, well, like I said, I was just really scared um, because I didn't know what was going on back at home. I had my first apartment, and so I was worried that my stuff was going to get destroyed. I had cats that were there that I didn't know if they were going to be hurt. So it was just really a scary experience to be away. And then coming back was probably even worse. <laughs> Did you have any damage? If so, what was it? So I actually didn't have any damage in my apartment. When I drove up to my apartment complex, it looked like it had um, like completely just been demolished. So, so I really didn't have any high expectations when I got to my apartment and I lived on the second floor of an apartment. And so when I walked upstairs and opened my door, I thought it was gonna be like completely gone and it looked like absolutely pristine, like nothing had happened. My cats were just sitting there. Like I was very, very lucky. Nothing happened to my to my stuff. And then Nana and Papa, they lived in Gauche near the water at the time, and the water stopped like two blocks from their house. So it almost like could have damaged their house and everything too. But I had a lot of friends that had a lot of damage to their house, or their house was destroyed. It was really sad. How did you recover? Well, who helped you recover? Well, so we just didn't have any power in our house or water. We had a generator, but you couldn't run it for very long because you had to have gas, and there was no mm-hmm. gas. The gas lines were really long. So it took about three weeks to get, like, fully restored power. So Mississippi Power helped us, but 
Um, my friends that had damage, they had a lot of, they had contractors that came in and did work for them and um, to help them like rebuild their houses and everything. But some of it was lost. Like if you had pictures and mm -hmm. stuff like that, then that was just gone and you, you really couldn't recover it, unfortunately. Mm. Because Hurricane Katrina hit, there were a lot of bad things might have happened. What was the hardest part of it all for you? Well, for me, like I said, we didn't really have any damage, so we were really lucky, neither me nor Nan and Papa, but, um, so for me, probably the hardest part was just trying to sleep. It was like August, so it was as hot as it is now, and we didn't have any air conditioning or anything, which was really bad, but, I mean, in the, in the grand scheme of things, we were really lucky to have our stuff, so that was not really as much as what other people were experiencing at that time who had did you have any extraordinary events this year? Nothing really extraordinary. I just remember we went to my friend's mom's house because they had a pool and it was so hot. We didn't have air. It sounded like a good idea. So we just went to the pool and I remember just laying in the pool and watching the military helicopters just kept flying by and everything because the military was there because it was a federal, you know, disaster. So you'd be driving down this, the highway and you'd see like those big Humvees on the highway and everything. It was just really a scary experience. Yeah, it must have been quite scary seeing military equipment and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was very scary. Kellen, thank you so much for doing that interview. Let's hope and pray we never see a storm like that again. Well, TLA, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us this morning for Student News Network. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.